Welcome back to video number three for Illustrator. Today we're going to take a look at the Curvature tool. Uh, we're going to start off with a new file. And we're going to select a print file, a letter size, and our orientation is going to be landscape. And we'll name it f uh, for now Curvature tool. It'll give us uh, some idea of which, which item we're working on here. Okay, so the file that we're going to bring in as a template, I've got available as a link in the video, and you should be able to uh, download that. And when you're ready, you're going to go to File, Place. You're going to look for that Curvature Tool PNG file. And we're going to place it in as a template. So this is, uh, if you've seen my earlier videos, you know this brings it in as a uh, layer underneath the work that we're going to do and it'll be faded a little bit and locked in place so that we can't uh, move it around and it won't interrupt our work. Okay, and just to show that here we've got the template layer that's locked and then the layer one is the one that we're working on today. Alright, so here is the curvature tool. Some of you might be familiar with the pen tool. The pen tool is uh, sort of traditionally what you would use in Illustrator to draw curves and shapes and um, curves and lines and, and different shapes and the, the curvature tools similar uh, and in some ways easier I think to start off with. So it's designed to automatically give you curves based on where you lay down your points um, and I'm going to show you that here. So I'm going to zoom in to our first item here and uh, I'll start with this little uh, circle here this um, for the eyeball and uh, I'm going to uh, create actually under properties we're gonna look at that fill shape right there I want to fill it with nothing for now just so that we can see through it and the border of black is fine all right so on my curvature tool if I click on the top the left the bottom the right and then join at the top That'll create my first curvature. And if we go back to our selection tool, I can I can move it over here just to give you an idea of what it looks like. Uh, for now, if we want, we can now fill this with brown to give it the exact look. Okay, and that's a circle. If we wanted to do an ellipse, we can do it also. Uh, again, I'll click here to create a no fill. I'm gonna go back to my curvature tool I'll start on the top, the left hand side, the bottom, the right, and then back up at the top. So notice that every time you click to the next uh, point that you're making, then the curves get made. Uh, in this case, it looks like I'm a little bit off, so I'm going to zoom in a little closer. And I'm going to take my direct selection tool, click on just the top node, and bring it down there. Okay, that looks pretty good. All right, uh, and now we'll do the hand. And you can really start anywhere. I'm just going to start at the bottom of the hand here. I'm going to click once here. I'm going to look at this curve, and I'm going to see like this is kind of like the peak of the curve here. So I'm going to click there. There's another peak of the curve going in another direction. So I'm going to click there. And then I'll click here, here, here. So I'm just clicking where the where I'm seeing the the curve change to either another direction or when it, where it hits its peak. Okay, right there. And now notice how I'm not really exact. It's kind of um, the well the the alignment's a tiny bit off from what the original looks like and that's okay because I'm gonna spend some time cleaning this up with my direct selection tool like this alright so I've got it all done there now I can switch from my curvature tool to my direct selection tool if I want to take a look at some of these points and make them uh, adjust a little bit. So for example, I can bring in this one here, 
Each of these points comes with handles, as you can see here, that I'm dragging back and forth. So I can either make them longer to make the curve go farther out, or I can shrink them to make the curve smaller. So I'm going to do this. And just get as close as I can to make it match the way the um, original one looks. I'm not going to spend too much time here. Just want to grab some of these points here. Okay. And just like that. Grab these points, oops, great. And I'll just finish it off there. Okay, so that's Curvature Tool in a nutshell. I'm gonna use my space bar, I'm gonna hold down my space bar to move to the next drawing here. Now, even though it's called the Curvature Tool, it can actually make straight lines as well. So I'm gonna go back to the Curvature Tool. And now for this one, it's all straight lines. And the way you create a straight line is you double click. So I double click there, I double click on my next point, and now I'm just gonna go to each corner and make a double click to go to the next one. So every time I encounter a corner or every time I am about to get to a straight line, I just double click. All right, and I click once to finish it off. Once again here, double click. Double click, double click, and then once to finish it off. All right, pretty simple. So now, if I come to my third one, this is where I'm combining both curves and straight lines. So I'm gonna start off here, double click, because it's about to start a straight line. I'm gonna double click here because it's a corner. And now I'm gonna single click because I've reached a curve. Double click. And double click here because this is the end of the straight line. And then single click, double click. Okay? Double click corner, single click at a peak of a curve, double click corner, double click corner, single click, double click because I'm about to hit a straight line, double click corner, single click single click okay and i can do the same for the inside here double click single double click double 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 single double single all right and that one in that particular one because it is a shape that is filled I'm gonna to have to go to the fill uh, palette here, grab some blue, and now I can bring this over. All right, I'm gonna go the easy route. I'm gonna copy and paste that and just put the other one right there. Okay, and then this last one here is that same shape from the previous lesson. And now, rather than using the shape builder, the ellipsis and the three triangles and then combining them together, we can just use the curvature tool. I'm going to go grab my curvature tool. I'm going to change the fill to orange. Change the stroke to three. And now I'm going to double click and double click, single, double click, double click, single, so I'm noticing it's a little bit hard to see. So I can actually go into fill and change it to no fill for now until I finish my work. Double and then finish it off. And I'm also going to take the moment to, right now to click on a click on one of my nodes and change the angles a little bit because they are a little bit off. Great, and now I can fill my new fish with a color. Okay, and that's it for the curvature tool. Remember, double click when you encounter a straight line or hit a corner, and single click for all your curves.